Stellaris is a Space 4X grand strategy game by Paradox Development Studio. The grand strategy genre is a niche that is dominated by a few big developers. It hasn't allowed for a wide variance in the games that are released. You basically have games that are similar to Civilization and games developed by Paradox. While a lot of those games are very good, it isn't often that something comes up that I really get into. It requires a pretty big time investment to dig into these games. Stellaris is no exception to that rule, but it does have the advantage of being one of the best 4X space games of the current generation. The premise of Stellaris starts off as you might expect. You take control of an empire of various size and advancement depending on what parameters you set on the game creation screen. What that empire does depends on what you want. Stellaris gives a good set of options depending on what playstyle you prefer. You can decide to have a diplomatic society that avoids war at all costs. You can have a warmongering society that destroys everything in their path. You can set up a xenophobic isolationist society that just wants to be left alone to develop technology. The great thing is that the decisions that you make about your empire at the start affects your gameplay throughout the playthrough. For example, I chose to play as a xenophobic militaristic society. As I came into contact with various cultures, I did not have a choice to pursue diplomacy. My options were alien scum, respect our authority, and leave us alone. That sets you up for some good amounts of immersion and allows you to get more into the role of leading your empire. Stellaris does a good job of giving you the tools to create a story. One of my favorite recent grand strategy games is Crusader Kings 2, and what I liked about it is the ability to create a story for my family. Stellaris allows you to tell the story of a space empire. You can start with basically nothing, just one planet and a spaceport, and build into a gigantic empire that owns the entire galaxy. The customization really allows for a lot of playthroughs that play out in a lot of different ways. There's a big difference between playing a very small galaxy with 39 AI empires and playing a gigantic galaxy with 10. And AI empires aren't the only thing you'll come into contact with. There are anomalies for you to discover and research. There are objectives that will pop up as you play that give you more incentive to explore the galaxy. If you're the kind of person who loves the exploration part of playing Grand Strategy, then this is the game that will give it to you. Exploration isn't just a fun thing that you can do, it also gives you a lot of benefits. Finding some anomalies can provide large bursts to your research and other benefits. Discovering alien species is interesting and there aren't only large empires that you can find. You can also find alien species at varying points in their development and set up observation posts for benefits. Stellaris does a good job at making the galaxy actually seem expansive. There are lots of Space 4X games that I couldn't get into because it felt like I was limited to traveling only in a small area and in straight lines. In Stellaris, there are multiple different ways to travel which you can choose from at the start of the game. One of the few complaints that I have about the game is something that is pretty common in this type of game, and I'm honestly not sure how it could be better. Combat is a bit lacking when it comes to tactics and strategy. It basically comes down to who has the bigger fleet. It's actually one of the better combat systems in a Paradox game, but there still isn't a lot to it, which is a shame. Luckily, because you can actually see individual ships shooting and exploding, it is fun to watch. Stellaris is a really fun Space 4X, and you can tell that Paradox put a lot of love into this game. For fans of the genre and those who have been looking to get into Grand Strategy, this might be one of the best choices to get into. There's a good tutorial which explains various mechanics as you're moving through the game, or a separate tutorial which teaches you the basics at the start. It's one of the most accessible Paradox Grand Strategy games currently available. If you love Space 4X, then I highly recommend this game. I think it does a lot of things right, and it will likely only get better as Paradox tends to support and develop their games for some time. This has been my review of Stellaris, and I'm Melchiorus from Game Clouds. Have a good night, friends.
Some buildings may cause adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. 